Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to look at sound and discover whether sound can travel through space. So what do we know about sound? Well, first of all, can sound travel through space? And the answer is a resounding no, it is simply not possible. What are sound waves? Well, sound waves require a medium in order to travel. And we see in the animation here, waves traveling outward. So sound waves require something. It could be a gas, a liquid or a solid, but they need some way to be able to travel. So that's a difference between sound and light. Sound is a disturbance in a medium that causes it to move. And that is what the sound wave is. When somebody speaks and you hear them, they are disturbing the way the particles in the atmosphere, the wave travels through those particles and then reaches your ear to be transformed. So it's quite different than light. Light, on the other hand, is an electromagnetic wave. It is actually a series of electric and magnetic waves oscillating together that can travel through the vacuum of space. So it does not require any kind of medium. Sound is a vibration of particles. So sound requires something to travel through. And without a medium of some kind, it cannot travel. So trying to travel through a vacuum, the sound wave will immediately disappear. So what would happen if something were to strike the moon? Let's say there were a major impact to occur on the moon. A large object smashes into our moon. We would see it, but no matter how loud it is, no matter how big of a sound it would have made if that occurred here on Earth, it will never travel to us from the moon. In fact, you could be on the moon and you would not be able to hear it. Now, you might be able to feel vibrations through through the lunar surface and you might actually technically sound waves would travel through the moon itself. So waves would be able to travel through, but they would not be able to get out into space or to Earth. So no matter how loud of an explosion occurred any place, say on the moon, we would never be able to hear it. Now, one of the problems here is that we often confuse sound waves with radio waves. So what is the difference between the, these two? Well, radio waves are actually part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we can see that here. Here we have the entire electromagnetic spectrum. We're used to the visible light here, this tiny little section. That's what our eyes are sensitive to. But it also includes things like gamma rays and x-rays and ultraviolet on the shorter wavelength side, infrared, microwave and radio waves on the longer wavelength side. So radio waves are just like visible light. These are really the same thing. They are formed by the same process. The difference is that the radio waves have a much longer wavelength. Now, the difference with these is, of course, is that the radio waves are not sound waves. You cannot hear a radio wave. In fact, radio waves are traveling through you right now. You don't hear those. What we do here on Earth is to encode signals within radio waves to be converted into sound waves through the appropriate mechanism. So you can make modifications to, say, the amplitude of a wave and encode that as a sound. Or you can make modifications to the frequency of a wave. And those amplitude modulations or frequency modulations are what we call AM and FM radio. That is how we encode within the radio wave that information. And then the proper receiver can then decode that and convert it into sound through the vibrations in a speaker. However, there still is the difference that radio waves cannot be heard. So you will never hear a radio wave. They can be converted to sound, they can contain information, but they are not anything that you can hear. That is why they can travel through the vacuum of space. They are just like ordinary light. They can travel through the vacuum of space and allow us to detect radio waves from space, but not to detect any sounds. Any sound would not be able to travel beyond the atmosphere of Earth as an example here.
So let's go ahead and finish up this with our summary. And what we've looked at here is that sound waves do require a medium to travel. They cannot be transmitted through the vacuum of space. We also saw that sound waves are very different than light or what we call electromagnetic waves, which includes the radio waves that we talk about. So as an example, an explosion on the moon might be seen, but could never be heard here on Earth. So that concludes this discussion on sound waves not being able to travel through a vacuum or through space. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.